Hey guys, this is Ilya coming to you from the test server again, and patch 5.8 is in full swing on the test server, and so I want to check out as much of the content and show you guys as much as possible, and Cosmos and I are working hard uh, between the blog and the videos to try and flesh out everything so that you could get that you guys can be prepared for the next patch and so um, I'm trying to do one video per blog post this one might be a little bit longer because it's sort of all-encompassing you know uh, we we have a bunch of blog posts on some of the separate you know bigger topics things that we can lay out tables for uh, but at least here um, this is all sort of the the little additions uh, that we lob together in one uh, post so uh, Cosmos on the blog has um, this one on all other changes, so you guys can check out all our patch 5.8 content on the Dolly Games Wartoon blog at wartoon.dolygames.com. I'll definitely have a link to uh, at least this article in the description. And so we're going to go over all other changes, which are, there's just a lot of little things, but actually with a very high impact on sort of uh, what your daily war tune routine will be like some of it i actually think is really good and i'll get to that point um here i think one of the main things is uh what has happened to the multiplayer dungeons and so um i'm just going to go into hall of heroes and uh and here we go so from what i can tell for things like the uh, multiplayer dungeon so this one will still have one daily attempt uh so it doesn't say that but I'm quite sure that you can do your daily multiplayer dungeon so things that will get you items for gear that remains the same I don't know what's going on here with this text and stuff why it's like over laid with this thing I don't know what uh, what why that aesthetically happened but anyway so that's sort of a weird um, thing that happened in the process but anyway um, but one of the huge uh, differences is for the event dungeons so things like so up to this point things like tower of kings spire uh, uh dragon uh dragon lair or di as most people uh call it and bloody inferno all uh were daily dungeons so these were all things that you got one attempt for whereas now um we actually get um only one attempt per week so i did tower of kings yesterday come back today and I don't have another attempt um, so the way that they make up for this is by changing the rewards so here for easy the bronze king chest um, you get like uh, x5 so everything's like basically times seven of uh, what you would see in the chest before and uh, and then normal just showing you guys all these rewards so now the mile training lifts from these guys are 84 to 140. So really the main thing that you want from Tower of Kings are these mount whips. That's the best reward in there. Um, the only thing that they didn't adjust, which was dumb on their part, is the number of shadow, soul, uh, shadow souls that you get from um, the dungeon ending. Uh, so yeah, the number of shadow souls that you can get from these drops in, in these chests has increased but you still only get 16 for nightmare 14 for hard 12 for normal and 10 for easy once you beat the whole dungeon so i think for players who are coming into this fresh it's going to take longer in, uh, in order to collect up enough of those shadow souls in order to get the mounts um but otherwise it's not a huge deal um so this is definitely something these ch these chests i don't think change have changed so for everybody looking at this video for sure the one you should do TOK every single day um, up until you know before the patch you should collect as many of these chests as you can and do not open them because you're going to want to open them after the patch comes out the rewards are going to be so much better um, and I think they're going to be exactly the same so I think whatever you have right now is just going to convert into one of these chests that gives better rewards that's what they've done in the past when they uh, changed the rewards for for Tower of Kings and so for sure that's something that you should 100% hoard. That will be a total hoarder win. Um, you know, I was talking to Robin today, and she has like hundreds of them saved up. She ha hasn't opened up a lot, and so she's very excited uh, to be able to, you know, 
with this upcoming patch get a ton of whips um so that's definitely some, something that you can work on um up to the point you know where where things change over um but i mean uh, the rewards are basically the same um except that you just do it once a week and get more uh, rewards each time so i don't think that's a big deal I, if anything i think it's better just because doing every single one of these dungeons every single day is impossible like realistically i can now do all of these dungeons every single week because it's uh, if i only have to do them once a week then i'm much more inclined to actually do them and get the rewards um so things like spire are also adjusted so now the normal spire chests um have a chance at seven fashion cores um and then uh level nine luckstone so everything times seven so it's you know over the course of a week so i'm sure this resets on monday uh like the weekly dungeons and then um nightmare uh nightmare they don't show um do i have any chests in here doesn't look like it i don't think i do but um let me see if Cosmos showed anything. Okay, so Cosmos has it here on the blog. Um, so, oh no, that's a normal one. Darn it. Okay, so I'll run uh, Spire Nightmare with Cosmos at some point and, um, and hopefully get a picture of, of those rewards onto the blog. So definitely check that out if you want an update. And anything else here? So, you know, I haven't done uh, Dragon Invasion here yet. But I'm sure that the drops from Dragon Invasion are also going to increase. Um, you know, so whatever you think of for your Dragon Invasion rewards right now, I imagine it's just time seven. Uh, that would be consistent with all of the other stuff. And same for Bloody Inferno. I think all of these drops will be just time seven. Uh, for the weekly dungeons, I don't think there's any changes to that just because those are already weekly. So basically everything's turned into a weekly dungeon um, in that respect. And the only daily dungeon that you're going to have um, are, are this daily M MPD. Um, and so I think that's a really good addition. addition. Um, you know, I don't think there's any significant decrease in rewards. If anything, it's better reward rewards for me because... Uh, just in my case, it's so hard for me to do all of these dungeons um, every single day, so having them be weekly is a lot better. The only thing that it doesn't, <laughs> what it's not conducive to, is having people, you know, come back regularly every day and spend time with their guildies, um, you know, punching out this stuff together with their friends. So I think there's like a social aspect that might be lost, um, not having as much to do um, as a group every single day. But, you know, personally, I can <laughs> live without that. I still like chatting with my guildies and everything. I'll just sit there at a basketball, during a basketball game and uh, and chat away and, and talk <laughs> and just rant about basketball with them. So, I don't know. We we managed to find things to do without without having to actually play Wartoon. Um, so, so, anyway, I think that's a, a great addition. So, I'm just looking at the blog and uh, it looks like... Uh, some things here cosmos is talking about uh the the experience cap has changed so this is probably something i can't see um here because i have knighthood and and so i can't see the experience cap but previously you could only save up to 800 million experience and now it's up to 2.4 billion so it's uh it's three times as much as uh what you could save up before which i guess is i don't really know what the point of that is i mean um you can collect up more experience and buy all your talents at once. So I'm not totally sure what the point there is, but um, it is what it is. Uh, there was a point on Astro Re Refining that I, you know, I looked around at the game and there looks to be no difference whatsoever. So just nix that. Um, you know, it, it's a, they told us that it, there was supposed to be some sort of adjustment, but I really don't think there's anything. Um, uh, that's changed other than the one click refine so I think so it, it sounded like there was going to be a, a reward change but now it, it just looks like it's now there's a one click refine so I think before you could only do them individually and now the one click refine it's not I would hope that it just skips this whole thing but it just does um, 10 at a time so that's just slightly more efficient um anything else that i'm that's worth showing we have um so now bef 
Previously, you could only get up to three hero attempts, but now you can do ten and it just doesn't cost you anything extra. So that's pretty good. You get a lot more XP from hero attempts, so uh, definitely, especially for knighthood players and anybody who's trying to level up quickly, you want to do um, hero attempts on, on the best dungeon uh, for XP and do it with a scroll, and that's it's a ton. If you have a really, really nice XP scroll, that's something you should do. Actually, I, well... For the sake of showing you guys, I just went ahead and blitzed that, but I should have gotten an XP scroll. I could have used it here, but um, but that's okay. And uh, let's see here. Special mounts. Um, players can stand while riding uh, when riding them. I'm sure this is going to be a really expensive mount that we haven't seen yet, but I haven't extensively looked through the mount shop yet. Um, but, I mean, I, I've, I'm missing so many mounts on my main main account that I've sort of... Um, I haven't really paid attention to what mounts are, are in the game and not in the game anymore. Um, okay, so this is probably something that we can show, um, which is an anti-lag feature, which, I, I mean, any attempt to get rid of the lag in the game, I approve of, even, you know, I at least appreciate the effort, even if it works or doesn't work. Uh, so we'll look at that, I'll get to that in a moment. Um, and we'll, we can get to the devotion page in a second. Um, but there's one thing that I wanted to show. I know Cosmos noted it, which is these little items in the gameplay. So I'm going to go ahead and show that. I'm going to go over to Sky Trail and I'll, I'll show you what's going on. So they're now in the gameplay, which I'm not sure if it was totally necessary, but it's at least interesting to see. So I'm just going to go ahead and challenge. Um, to Okay, well, whatever. It's not like I have a great setup in, uh, on the test server. So what's gonna happen? So right here, uh, my Titan just just procked, and um, and so I have a shield. And so now um, I had I you know after the shield came, I had uh, a green little icon that said one, and then I got this um, this uh, rage buff. And so I got another little icon and it increased. So this little thing uh, indicates how many positive and how many negative uh, debuffs I have. And it'll do the same for the boss. So now I just put a negative debuff on the boss and he has a little skull with one. So it's going to tell you uh, in green how many positive debuffs you have. I mean how many positive buffs you have and how many negative debuffs you have. I didn't really fight it. I can beat this boss, but but uh, but anyway. So that's one thing to um, to to help indicate, you know, what kind of condition you're in and how your opponents are doing. It's mildly interesting for uh, classes like the the mages. For knighthood, mages have these this thing that you know can potentially take away beneficial buffs. So if you're you know. You can at least pay attention to your fights more, and if you feel like it might be helpful to have something that will scatter away some positive buffs from your from your opponents, um, then you might start putting more points into this passive. I don't even know why I have this passive on the test server. If anything, you know, I don't PvP on the test server, so it's not like... So usually for PvP I would use energy control, but I just... Anyway, I'm doing whatever here. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, so those little icons are interesting. So, like, even here, Cosmos wasn't sure what was, what the, what they were for, and then I was poking around in the game trying to figure it out. Uh, but, uh, but even in the pictures that he shows here on the blog, uh, there's a little healing buff here, and that's, um, how he got this green icon. You can have both red and green at the same time if you have a positive buff and a negative debuff on you. And then, uh, here he's slowed, and it's an, it's one negative debuff debuff so those are just some new indicators in the gameplay um, for, for what's going on um, and uh, and they're sort of cute <laughs> uh, so so that's um, a gameplay change and then I think we you know see in the in the fights that the I, I don't think you know it's so hard to tell with with me whether or not there's added lag or not from from the adjustments to um, using a K for thousands in, in the damage, so, um, you know, that's something for other people to test out. Uh, so I'm very excited for this one, just, actually, you know, I was saying, um, so for sure these are the same type of Diamond King chests 
as we've seen before. Um, I, you know, I, for sure, I think those are going to transfer over. So, um, absolutely, my number one recommendation, if you don't do anything in preparation for this next patch, um, other than this, is just to save Tower of Kings uh, chests, Inspire chests, everything, any kind of chest from... Um, from from the dungeons you should just save in the hopes that um, you'll get better rewards after the patch um, so cosmos goes over a lot of other small changes um, wild plunder oh you can't increase attempts anymore so they're actually getting rid of something that you could cash which is always sort of amazing um, but uh, so we have some increased tank rewards um, from oh so this is a VIP related thing so if you have higher VIP then you can get um, more rewards uh, so I don't know what each of those levels is is so I guess you can go look at VIP benefits and see if if they'll list it so I'm not seeing oh tank trials okay so victory and failure chest obtained from tank tri tank trials multiply by two for level not for VIP 9 so actually there are quite a, b a few VIP changes uh, looks like or at least VIP related things that I didn't notice before so maybe I'll talk to Cosmos about doing a blog post on that but um, okay well it looks like there are some changes and so you get more benefits to um, to to tank, tank trials uh, if you have higher VIP and uh, looks like there's an inventory change so for like uh, the renew function you can now buy up more than 30 days which I, you know I mean I guess it's nice you could renew um, just over and over again in on the real servers I don't really know why this was um, a big deal but uh, yeah I mean well wait a minute so, oh, actually, there's a discount. So if you buy more days of um, of your inventory, it's actually cheaper. So the the price goes down. So um, so actually, you know, yeah, if you really care about your inventory, it would be better to buy more of these days um, in advance uh, rather than doing the 30 days. So I thought it was just like something to you know. Um, well, I just thought it was something stupid that that was an unnecessary update, but actually it does give you a discount um, if you buy more days, so that's an addition. And some changes to the Holy Forge. There are a lot of um, smaller changes that Cosmos brings up on this. Um, yeah, he even calls them smaller changes. I didn't see that. Uh, that he talks about and... Um, and so, uh, I, for sure, just check out the blog for those ones. I, I think I've covered most of the, the major ones, or at least the ones that are more interesting to me. Um, you know, uh, the devotion page has changed quite a bit. It's very, very detailed. I mean, I was very surprised how detailed it is. It goes down to, like, uh, you know, solo events, uh, multiplayer ones. Um, but, like, details each of the multiplayer things. So this, I think you just need to do Tower of Kings on a non-attempt in order to get this devotion, because you it's not daily, you don't get a daily attempt, but I think you can just go into Tower of Kings and leave, and you'll probably get this devotion. Um, same with Spire, um, Hall of Heroes, you'll actually get an attempt. Um, and then Multiplayer Event, um, yeah, so one for each of these, where was, there was something... So now there's even a devotion. It goes all the way up to 300. Are you kidding? Like, there's no way I'm going to ever get to this 300 unless I have a day where I'm really, really bored and decide to play Wartoon for hours because this is ridiculous. But, uh, but, so there's one for, um, for Guild Beast, for Guild Battle, all these little things that I probably will miss. <laughs> so there's a lot of detail in here. There was, uh, where is it? Solo event? Oh yeah. So there's one for each of the individual uh, world bosses too. So there's tons of ways to get devotion, and you can get 
relatively large rewards. So, I mean, this is very attractive for um, non-cash players if you can get up to it, which is getting three fashion cores and 100 bound balins. I mean, that really adds up. But boy, are you going to be playing a lot of War Tune in order to get these rewards. Um, and so we have uh, some U Demon skill scroll stuff, some Blood of Zeus. That's not so attractive. I'm sure this is the main one everybody will want. Oh, some Sepulchrum and Maha. That's good for, um, for you know, a player is sort of just starting out. That's very important. Gem and Mount Whips and Gold at the beginning. So, yeah, I mean, this will add up very, very quickly. It's not hard to get to 100. Um, you know, VIP players will get some starting devotion just from having VIP. Uh, that's one of the features. But, oh boy. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of ways to get devotion. But I'm mean, getting to 300 just seems dreadful. Uh, <laughs> so, you think about it, like, even that's 30 different uh, little things that uh, will give 10 devotion in order to get to 300. So, um have fun to all the people who are very diligent i can you know name off a couple people on my server who for sure will will try and manage it every single day but it's it, that's that's a lot so i think this is about it as far as other changes um that you know ones that i would uh, think are of note um you know again the most important thing is to hoard um hoard up your your uh, event chests uh, in order to get better rewards there but otherwise i think um this is actually I think some of these could be considered sort of a quality of life update uh, to the game, which I think is very good. We're not seeing anything that's so, like, earth-shattering. Uh, we'll get to this Outland uh, contest, which will be a new PvP event, and so that's very different and, uh, and whatnot, but a lot of the smaller changes are are less focused on, on the game, you know, going after, after your money, and I sort of appreciate that for, uh, you know, I, I have always said or at least in my head have said or to my guild you know wanted war tune to focus on some you know quality of life the the little details to th make things better and i think in a lot of ways um uh some of these smaller changes really do address that you know making the event dungeons weekly and just increasing their rewards i think is really a lot better because it's not going to require as insane amount of of time spent playing war tune um, when they already have so many features that will take up a lot of your daily time. So I think little things like that um, make a really huge difference on, you know, how much you can get out of the game um, and, and that type of stuff. So for, for at least, you know, out of just first impression from uh, patch 5.8, I think there are a lot of little adjustments that are that are good, aside from this devotion thing, which will take forever, um, so what I'm just not going to do, but uh, but otherwise, I'm I'm looking forward to some of these changes, and, um, and I hope you guys are too, so thanks for watching, you guys, take care, and have a very good day.